Let's look at an optimization problem in three variables. So, I want to consider the ellipse given by the intersection of the cylinder, x squared plus y squared equals 1, and the plane, y equals z plus 1, in 3 space. Question, find the maximum and minimum values of f of x, y, z equal to x times z on the ellipse. We're going to have two methods to solve this problem. In this video, we're going to use the method of parametrizing our ellipse. So in this case, I'm going to reduce our problem to a problem of one variable calculus, and then we can solve it using those methods. In the next video, I'm going to use this problem as an example for Lagrange multipliers with two constraints. Now, if we want to parametrize this ellipse, okay, first we should draw a picture. So we're in three space here. I have x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. We have the cylinder x squared plus y squared equals 1. So I draw the circle x squared plus y squared equals 1 in the xy plane. And then z can be anything. So that's going to trace out the cylinder. Then I have the plane y equals z plus 1. So I'll just sketch this line in the yz plane. And then since x can be anything, we just extend it out parallel to the yz plane. Now, if I take the intersection of this plane, okay, which is going like this, with this cylinder, we're going to get an ellipse that looks like this. Now, what are we trying to do when I parametrize the ellipse? The ellipse is a one-dimensional object, so I want to describe it with one variable. The way I do that, I'm going to set up a vector valued function. It's going to be in the variable t, and we're going to try to hit every point on the ellipse using functions for each coordinate. Because points in our ellipse satisfy the equations for the cylinder and the plane, we have to have the x of t squared plus y of t squared equals 1, and y of t is equal to z of t plus 1. Now, that means I can let x of t be cosine of t, y of t be equal to sine of t. Okay, we'll have t going from 0 to 2 pi. Then we'll force z of t. So z of t is equal to y of t minus 1 or sine of t minus 1. That's going to be our parametrization. Now, two ways to check your work. You just take your functions, put them into each equation to make sure they're satisfied. So that's pretty clear here. And you can also check points. So for instance, if I took t equals 0, I get 1, 0, minus 1. And I could just check that point in our equations. With our parametrization, we could substitute in for x and z in little f. We get a new function of one variable, f of t, equal to cosine of t times sine of t minus 1. Now we're trying to solve the problem, find the maximum and minimum of capital F of t on the closed interval from 0 to 2 pi. To solve this problem, we find all the critical points of f, so where the derivative is equal to 0 or undefined. We take the endpoints, then I evaluate f at all of those points, compare to find the maximum and minimum. So we take the derivative of capital F, okay, we work that out. The key step is going to be for this cosine squared term, we're to substitute to get everything in terms of sine. So that gives me the equation. 2 sine squared t minus sine t minus 1 is 0. And this we can solve using the quadratic equation. So that'll give sine of t equal to minus a half or 1. In the range from 0 to 2 pi, we have three solutions. So we'll have pi halves, 7 pi 6, and 11 pi 6. So we're going to take these points. We'll take 0 and 2 pi. Then we evaluate f at these points. So we see that we're going to have a minimum okay, at the point that goes with 7 pi 6, so that's square root of 3 over 2, minus a half, minus 3 halves. And we're going to have a maximum at the point for 11 pi 6, which is minus square root of 3 over 2, minus a half, minus 3 over 2. 